Greetings, fellow traveler. Today, I would like to remind you that many of the things that we seek or that we believe will give us uh, peace, some form of growing happiness, contentment. All these things are free. There's no amount of money that can acquire these things. The power and ability to acquire these aspects of life are simply found in self. Now, there are various different ways we could achieve those states, but simply being open to the belief that we too can acquire those things. Sometimes it's all you need. The faith of a mustard seed, right? See, the things that would give us peace along our journey, they're, <laughs> it's not a long list. It's truthfully not a long list. If we boil it down to specifically our journey, our life, our reality that we witness, there's not that many things. And truthfully, if we look at it, we just simply take a step back and look at the options that the world presents us and tells us that we can find peace or happiness or fulfillment through. That's the tip of the iceberg. Sometimes what you find peace in doesn't have a label. And even if it does have a label, the label doesn't do it enough justice because the amount of enthusiasm you get for light by simply entertaining certain beliefs, ideas, perspectives, people. It's, uh, I mean, it's infinite. <laughs> the, the amount of joy that we can actually witness in our lives is it's an unthinkable number because our choices allow us to either experience what we're looking for or not. Our choices allow us to explore further into the depths of our being and to ourselves or our choices do the opposite. They force us to the outside world. You should be doing this. If you're a man, you should be doing this. If you're a woman, you should be doing this. If you're successful, your life should look like this. If you're not successful, this is what your life looks like. You should be proud of this. You should be ashamed of that. The outside world is consistently throwing things at us. So much so that we can get caught up in def defending ourselves. Defending our state of being, our satisfaction with self. We can get so caught up in defending our peace. That we can get lost in the disruption of others. I made to remind you that you don't have to. Now, certain situations will be more difficult than others. That's okay. But I'm here to remind you to focus on what you can't control. I'm here to remind you to focus on the peace that is you. Whatever that looks like. Whatever that looks like. I'm not here to judge because I know each and every one of us have our own different journeys, our life experiences, our perspectives. And to an extent, we can validate any and all things that we believe. To an extent. And that's okay. You step into your power. Trust in who you are. Know what. Know what caters to the feeling of you thriving in life. And feed that. Entertain it. Allow it to grow, evolve, and show you more of the depths within yourself. Now, it might not be everyone's thing. Absolutely fine. This is for those who it resonates with. Because trust and believe that what's good for the goose isn't good for the gander. It's absolutely fine. I want to promote the idea of finding peace within yourself. It's okay. It's okay if one or two people understand it. It's okay if nobody gets it. Because it's about you. Your inner world, enriching that inner world within you so that you are, you feel at home, 
when you're with yourself and your thoughts. That's one of the most amazing places to be. The outside world cannot give you that home that you can give yourself. So continue to move forward one step at a time. Continue to allow yourself to be open to seeing a better way for yourself. And also understand that some of the choices that you will make, although good for you, it may not settle for others because then you're disrupting the idea of you that they have. It's not your business, not your concern. Just as you are working on yourself, you allow them the space and the grace to work on themselves if they feel so inclined. If not, that's okay. One step in front of the other. That's what matters. I hope this reach at least one. I wish you nothing but success on your journey. Remember, Rome wasn't built in a day. So choice by choice, step by step. Smile along the way. Until next time.